Hey guys, this is Paul coming to you from Andrew's laptop today, though I don't know how you would know that or why that even matters. So I've decided to do something that I've never really done before, and that's vlog. I mean, of course I've made videos before, I've been around here for years. But I've always felt like I owed you guys some sort of production to make it worthy of being uploaded as a video, be considered canon, so to speak. If you look back at my past videos, they've literally been nothing short of a documentary on the life of African tortoises and a scientific treatise on why Zeno's paradox is actually wrong. These are slightly heavier subjects than someone sitting around his room talking about the weather. But I was looking around and I realized how many big stars have some pretty pointless videos. I thought I'm going for pointless here, but... I was inspired to do this video by a YouTuber named... Uh, waste time chasing cars. I hadn't actually heard of him until today when I came across his fake iPod commercial, but apparently he's pretty big because he's about the 24th most subscribed ever, so clearly he's doing something, right? I like the iPod one a lot, but looking through some of his other vids, I saw one from eight months ago called Questions and Answers. It was literally about nothing. It is complete rambling, maybe a little too similar to this video. Not too fun or entertaining, but hey, like I said, people sure don't mind watching it. So I figured, why be stingy with my number of YouTube videos? Why not just get some stuff out there? So I've decided to talk about a few things, get them off my back. Some of these will be complaints about YouTube, so we'll see how this goes. So issue numero uno. My big pet peeve with YouTube, the dread curse of the 300. Now 300 is typically a noble number. For example, we all remember the 300 Spartans who held off the Persian army for quite a while at Thermopylae for the sole reason so that some guy could come along 2,000 years later and make a movie about it, giving frat guys everywhere something to quote screaming while drunk. When it comes to YouTube, however, 300 is a number of doom. That is because YouTube has, for whatever reason, I don't know, they have some sort of glitch which I think is supposed to safeguard videos from getting too many repeat hits from the same IP. YouTube has some protocols installed, or I don't know, I don't really know your programming talk. But whatever the case is, it doesn't work. As you all probably know, views are like YouTube's currency. They can make or break a video, and people will go to all sorts of lengths to get them as high as they can. So obviously, if you're getting 300 hits at the same time from one location, that means something's wrong, and YouTube has those protocols, as I call them for no reason, installed to make sure, just to stop that in case something gets out of hand. What actually seems to be happening, though, is view counts aren't just being shut down for the offending videos, but for, according to my very unscientific numbers, just about half of all videos on YouTube, period, are having their count numbers frozen at approximately 300. It's always in this range from 300 to 310. So basically, you can be climbing up the ladder of views very slowly over a period of weeks. You finally get to 300. Not really a big deal in the scheme of things anymore, but you made it. You made it to 300. You feel proud of yourself. Guess what? Boom. It's done. The numbers are frozen and they will not continue. The only thing YouTube has said to address this over on those help boards is that we're just not being patient enough and it takes a few hours for the numbers to reload. But no. If you actually read what people are actually complaining about, it's that it's not a few hours, but a few months. YouTube doesn't seem to feel like addressing this, because it's so big at this point that it probably doesn't need to, and it can get away with it. But it's these video creators who keep this site going, so they deserve a better response from YouTube, and not to mention a more reliable way of counting their views. Finally, I just want to give a shout out, is that what the kids are calling it these days, to some of my favorite YouTubers. Uh, one of them has to be What the Buck Show. I'm not really even into pop culture, or at least definitely not to the extent that he is, and I don't even know half of what he's talking about, but I marvel at his ability to just do that entire show in one take. He's usually speaking about three times faster than the normal human is the ability to, so, and he hits all his lines. At least, he makes it look like he does. I mean, it's, 
his show is pretty much a marvel for that reason alone. And he's pretty funny, too. So if you haven't already, and I'm pretty sure you have, check out What the Bucks Show. And as for up-and-comers, uh, I like the Cover Boys. That's Cover with a K and Boys with a Z, just to keep it fresh, I guess. Uh, they do covers of mostly Lady Gaga. That's how I found them. So I've done Kelly Clarkson, some Jason Derulo I've never heard of that guy, uh, TikTok by Keisha, which is probably the most annoying song to ever play in bars, and yet I really like their version of it. So they give this classical type of approach to all the songs, which I find pretty interesting and refreshing. Whether or not you even like the songs, it always tends to come out sounding good from them. So. I think they're one to keep an eye on. I can see them getting big. Uh, you never know though, so I figured I'd give them a boost if this helps, so check them out as well. Uh, I think that's all I have to say for today, but maybe if this goes over well, I'll actually do another one of these. Thanks for watching.